Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm filming on my vlog camera today. Let me know if you guys like how this looks. Usually for my sit down videos, I use my Canon DSLR, but I don't know, I think this one's got better light balance, but let me know what you guys think. So today I'm filming a get ready with me. I put a few pictures of my makeup and outfit a few days ago and a lot of you guys wanted to see the makeup look. It's quite different to what I usually do, so I thought it'd be a good video. Also, I've been wanting to film assumptions about me, so I thought I'd do two in one. So, let's get into the video. Today I wanted to show you guys my skincare before I do my makeup, which I don't really show you guys what I do. Also, it's changed recently, so I thought it'd be good to show you guys because this has made my foundation and my skin look so good generally. I start off with the Eve Lom Essence. This is the Radiance Essence Time Retreat. I've taken the lid off this because it's broken, but um, I use like a few drops of this in the palm of my hand. So this is an essence. So what this is, is it's kind of like a water to put onto your skin before serum, before anything. This is like the first step after cleansing your skin. And I always bring my skincare down to my neck and on my forehead. I don't put anything around my eyes unless it's eye cream because otherwise I get those little white spots. The reason we get them is because the products we put on there are too heavy for that area. So I've stopped doing that and all of those like tiny little spots have cleared. Oh God. I haven't really been using this that much but I wanted to try it out. This is the Superfood Kefir Tea Mist by Elemis. And this is like a multi-purpose spray so you can use this as a setting spray, as a primer, as a toner. I've used it at night and I find it really hydrating so I'm gonna go ahead and use this as well. Yesterday I used a face mask. I left it on for way too long, like I left it on for like 45 minutes when it was supposed to be 10 minutes and when I took it off my skin was so red so this would be good to calm it down a little bit and turn my hair around. Next, I'm going in with my eye cream. This is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Eye Cream. I've been loving this. I like to put a little bit on my lids as well, just to make sure they're hydrated. And then lastly for my moisturizer, I switch this up a lot, but I've been loving the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench um, Moisturizer. This is really good if you've got oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but, um, my nighttime skincare routine is very thorough so I put a lot of moisture into my skin at night so during the day I like to go with something a little bit less intense and this one's great it feels like water on your skin it's really really um, light and it doesn't feel heavy at all Okay, now my skin is all prepped I'm going to go in with my foundation I'm using Fenty Beauty in 240 I've stopped mixing my Becca Champagne Pop most days now because without that it's a lot more flawless but with Champagne Pop it's a lot more luminous so I just switch it up. I use about two pumps and this is the brush I've been using. It's the Look Good Feel Better Finishing Brush. This is from I think Feel Unique or Look Fantastic but I'm not sure but all the products will be listed in the description box with the links so you can click them to shop all of the products. And let's get into the questions, this is so nerve-wracking. I used to think, why do people say that when they're filming this video, but now I understand. This is very interesting, that you're not from a very well-educated family. Okay, interesting. Um, so, my mum is very well-educated. She went to college in Pakistan, but college in Pakistan is kind of like uni. So, I think college in Pakistan is three years or four years if I'm not mistaken so it's kind of like sixth form and like one or two years of university well the thing is like that was a different time so I'm not sure if she's got like a degree or not but basically I think my mum is very well educated my dad is not very well educated he used to not go to school he used to get sent to school and he used to what did he used to do he used to go and play on the train tracks very, very safe. Well done, Dad. 
and he used to go and go to the cinema instead of going to class he also used to bribe his teachers with like mitai or what or whatever he, the teachers liked he would always give that to them so then they would pass him and then he'd get into the next grade obviously all of this stuff is wrong but it's just a little bit funny also he was very 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 young at this age like he he wasn't like a teenager doing all this he was young i think he stopped going to school after like sixth grade but um yeah he's that's not stopped him though he is a hustler he doesn't stop my dad doesn't stop if something needs to be done he will get it done like his education level shows like nothing about him he's much more than his qualifications so i just double checked with my mom and she does have a degree in chemistry and biology i didn't even know that she's very interested in botany which i knew okay i'm using the bare minerals bare skin concealer and this is in the shade medium golden you guys know if you've been watching me for a long time i like to use two concealers one to kind of match my skin tone and correct and then i like to highlight with another one so i usually use the tart shape tape in light medium but um i like this one because it's less heavy and i use tart shape tape in light sand after this anyway my cousin alina asked i assume that your best mates are your family that is very true I don't have any friends that are not family, like best friends. I've always been close to my family, but um, like in school, I guess I had like friends and like, you know, when you're like in school and you have like a best friend, I always had a best friend. It started off with like in Huddersfield, I had a best friend in school. And then when I moved to London, Zoya was my best friend in school because she was the one who had to like look after me. She's on YouTube as well, Zoya Khalik. Go and follow her on Instagram and watch her YouTube videos. She's so good at makeup. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, now moving on to the second concealer. I use Tarte Shape Tape in Light Sand. Okay, someone said that you have ruled out wearing a headscarf again. Um, I haven't ruled it out to be honest with you. I don't want to rule it out because if I want to, I don't want to stop myself, you know, like if at some point in my life I want to wear it again, I will do. That you love Asian songs more than you do English. This is so true. I love Asian songs so much. I love Bhangra, I love Bollywood, I love Guzzles, I love Gowalis. I just love Asian music so much. I feel like it goes so much deeper than a lot of English songs do. But having said that, I do listen to a lot of English songs as well. And I think my taste in music is just very broad. So I like a bit of everything really. I'm gonna use some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder for my under eyes. Oh gosh, I'm running so low. And I set my eyes as well because they will crease if I don't. Okay, this is an interesting one and I don't even know if I should answer it, but I am gonna. You feel your job is unfulfilling because it's so materialistic and fake. Some days I do feel like my job is very materialistic and I just think about it really deeply and I think, is what I'm doing actually good? Like, does it provide any good for the world? Does it encourage people to do good? Does it help anyone? Yeah, I think about that a lot actually. But having said that, I receive a lot of messages from people saying my videos brighten up their day and they wait all week for my videos and just really, really, really nice things like that. And that makes me feel like, okay, my job is actually worth something i do at some point want to do something i say this all the time like something to do with ngos where i can actually help people that really really need help and that's partly why i did my degree in geography and hopefully maybe if i feel like it one day pursue a master's in international development because that's what i've always found an interest in and i've always sort of 
seen myself going down that route and this was always like a side thing but it just became my full-time job because it could be my full-time job and I do actually work really hard for this like you know so I don't know that was an interesting assumption and quite true actually I think I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that don't hate me please for all my true responses Okay, I'm filling my brows in now. This is medium brown and a 317 wing liner brush from Zoeva. The only brush I ever use for brows. You want to get your birthmark removed. I definitely used to want to get my birthmark removed, but that was back, back in school time. I used to get bullied about it, but now I'm fine with it. I don't mind it at all. It's just a part of me. It's part of my skin and I don't know. I just never feel conscious about it, so it doesn't bother me. So for my eyeshadow, I'm using Sandstorm from Barry M. I'm using this colour in my crease. It's like a burnt orange. And then I'm using this more like deeper red tone. A little bit in my crease and on my outer corner as well. And I just wanted to show you guys the treasure chest palette from Barry M as well. I'm so impressed with these shadows. So I just wanted to swatch them for you. So I'll swatch some of the shimmery ones because they're probably the ones you guys are most interested in so honestly they're such good shadows i'm trying to show you properly but this is so awkward i'm really really impressed with these eyeshadows and i'd highly 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 recommend them i'm gonna use a look good feel better brush again oh my god i didn't realize how much i like these brushes um, this is the tapered blending brush and I'm taking the orange shade first in my crease. You don't want a tum tam sit type of shadi. You want to keep it small and cute. So tum tam means big, loud, crazy. I always toy between the idea of this. I'm not getting married anytime soon by the way guys. That was another assumption a lot of people have um, that I'm getting married soon. I'm not. I'm still home for at least a few years couple of years um so yeah sometimes i really 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 want a small wedding and i just want people that i know are happy for me there and i want it to be really intimate but then a part of me wants to go all out because you only get married once but generally i'd say that's correct like most of the time i do feel like just a small intimate wedding would be perfect and i'd also think that it's more beneficial in the long run because the money that would have been spent on like tum tam type things would just be spent on like my future and my house with my husband and you know I think often the money can be better spent elsewhere rather than on the wedding. I do want a really really nice wedding dress. A really confident individual who doesn't care about log kiakahenge. I mean, okay, I'd like to think I am and I think some of my family members and my cousins think I'm that kind of person. I say generally, yeah, like I don't care like lo kiakahenge, lo But sometimes like you just can't help but care. Okay, now I'm taking a 228 Luxe Crease Brush from Zoeva and I'm using the more sort of brick colour here and I'm just taking that on the tip of the brush because I want this to not go everywhere and ruin the orange in the crease. You never get angry. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite surprised you assume this but I, I feel like in my vlogs I come across as very angry but generally my family would say yeah and my dad is always saying like to other people I'm like a police officer and like oi oi police officer Raya when I come in the room my family would laugh at that assumption because they all think I'm very angry but I don't think I'm angry I just think a lot of things annoy me so like I'm not like hot-headed and I don't like shout ever like I just get annoyed do you, do you get me? okay Dreaming Dahlia my friend on Instagram. So she sent sent lots of assumptions. I was like, oh my God, why is she saying this? And then she goes, in the beginning, she goes, I don't th think the shit I'm about to say, but I know others do. So this is one of the ones that she said. 
because you took your scarf off you're not a practicing muslim anymore absolutely not that's not true you know like wearing a scarf is like part of your faith people say and think but it's not your whole faith you know like if you I, i'm still a muslim she's got a lot of scarf related ones let me do one more she she also said you took your scarf off to fit in with western culture maybe because of pressure oh, fit in with western culture no that's definitely not why maybe because of pressure that is one of the reasons why i'll be honest Being a Muslim influencer seems to me to be so much tougher than being a Caucasian influencer or any other race or any other religion because Muslims, unfortunately, there's a large group of Muslims that just pass a lot of judgment online and if you're not doing something how they think you should do it, they say you're not doing it right at all and yeah that pressure is very 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 difficult mentally to take and you just question yourself a lot you just think yeah they're right i am misguiding people and it's wrong and that's part of the reason why i stopped wearing it but it's not the whole reason why well i didn't ever think i'd address this but it's true like the pressure is unreal and the words people say they think that they don't matter and they think people receive these kinds of things every day which we do but it doesn't mean that they don't matter and it doesn't mean that we don't end up thinking about the words that you say and horrible things people say but we do now on to my lid color i used the baked tri blend highlighter from barry m this is like a really nice gold let me show you and this is what i used on my lid this was perfect for my lid color look at that and this is a highlighter guys this is amazing for eyeshadow i'm always gonna pack this with me whenever i go anyway because i always want a gold shadow and this one's amazing this one's perfect you could even use a brush and just spray the brush and it would be really pigmented i think i might actually do that let's wet this with the tea mist i used before okay someone said you were engaged a couple years ago no i was never engaged if I was, I would tell you, but I wasn't ever engaged. Oh, I love how this is applying with the spray on the brush. It's very, very, very pigmented. And I'm really kind of like going in my crease and just like defining this lid color. You're secretly engaged. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. <laughs> you live off your dad slash family's money okay i want to know what live off means if it means the roof under which i live in then yes this is my dad's and i'm not about to give him rent because we don't do that like in brown families we don't give our family rent well i know we don't in pakistani families i don't know if it's all brown people but we definitely don't do that my dad would laugh in my face if i gave him rent money he'd be like what the hell do you think you're doing are you not my daughter so it in terms of other things like i buy everything myself like any clothes any makeup anything anything my spending money is all my own um i do have a job youtube and instagram is my job and um alhamdulillah i managed to live off that money my dad pays for big things like my car the house house bills i pay for my phone bill i don't know why i'm going into so much detail but my dad wouldn't want me to pay for big things like my car okay there was another money question you come from a very wealthy family i just think we're normal i don't think we're as well off as some people think we are i remember when we were younger like we were not well off at all there's stories you guys i would tell you and you'd think that okay you're definitely not well off let me tell you one so uh, when we used to, i'm doing the the same crease color under my lid um when we were younger and my dad used to do markets he used to not take the bus from like one place to another which he used to have to do like every day i think the bus journey the fare was one pound then and he didn't used to spend that one pound because he wanted to have a meal instead at mcdonald's a fillet meal so he'd save that money for the bus fare 
to get that meal instead so he used to walk so that he felt like he could have that filet meal instead so you know like we, we weren't always um, able to have like the luxuries we have today alhamdulillah like my dad's worked very 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 hard I don't think there's anyone as hardworking as my dad that I've ever met in my life. He's achieved a lot and it's all through hard work and he always, always, always says it's all from God that he's achieved all this. You come from a very affluent family, basically a rich, slightly spoiled kid. <laughs> I don't think I am spoiled, to be honest. Maybe a little bit because um, my mum and dad always bought me like anything they'd think that I'd want when I was little or just stuff like that. like. My mum and Khala were here in the UK before our dads came and mum and Khala used to live off very little but they always used to make sure we had nice good quality clothes and they always t say this to us all the time that like they dressed us well when we were kids. I'm not spoiled in the way that like I'm bratty, I'm spoiled in the way that my family's just always wanted to look after me and give me the best that they could give me. I'm gonna take my hair out now because I don't like how it looks on camera. Okay, this is the darker colour going close to my lash line. Okay, someone said you never had to work. So the thing is, I had to work? No, I never had to work because my dad always told me that you don't ever have to work. I make the money for you and the family. Like, this is hard to explain because it comes across like I'm really spoiled, but it's not. It's just, a, if you're Pakistani and you have a brown dad, you know the way they think and the way they just really want to make sure that you're looked after through their money. So he, he's always like, you don't ever have to work and anything you want, just tell me all of the money is yours, all of the business's money is yours, take whatever you want and you don't even have to tell me. Um, so yeah, he's always saying stuff like that, but when I was 16, I'm gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara on. When I was 16, I got my first job and I have been working since I was 16. I was doing my GCSEs and I had a part-time job. It was a Saturday job and I used to work at a Islamic school and I was a TA. And some days I'd even just like teach the class. I took my job very seriously and then I worked at Urban Decay and that was also a part-time job while I was studying. And then after that my YouTube picked up and I didn't feel that I needed to work part-time but I was still earning money and this is still a job. So um, yeah, I have been working ever since I was legally allowed to work. I remember before I got my national insurance card I was wanting to work so much because I wanted to make my own money and spend it how I wanted to because even though my dad used to say and still does say like all of this money is yours you don't ever need to work I feel bad spending my dad's money on useless things like makeup so I like to earn my own money and spend it how I like because when you earn your own money you have the autonomy to do so but if it's your dad's money I guess you still do have the autonomy if he says you do but I would feel bad Okay, mascara's on. I'm just gonna put some nude eyeliner in my waterline. This is also from Barry M. Oh my god, I didn't realize there's so many Barry M products. This is not a sponsored video. This is just going in my waterline. I really like this nude because it's just the right amount of lightness. Like it's not too bright where it looks scary. And I mainly apply it to the middle part. And that really opens up my eyes. Let's do lashes next. I have so many lashes here because I don't actually remember which ones I put on. I think they were Demi G by Coco Lashes, which are these ones, but I'm not sure if it actually is these ones or not. I'm just gonna try them on and see if they look good. Oh my God, I forgot to do something which I needed to do. Hold on, I need to do something before lashes. Okay, I don't like how these look. I think these are the ones I wore. But I don't, I, I think they're too, too big for my eyes, like they don't suit my eye shape, so I'm not going to wear these. Let's just do the step I missed first actually. I'm using this dark brown colour and I'm basically just going to use this as eyeliner, but like smoky eyeliner. I've been doing this a lot recently, I don't know the last time I used liquid eyeliner. This just looks so subtle and nice. Let me zoom you guys in because this is quite important. Oh, this has a lot of fallout. We'll clean that up afterwards. Okay, let's do a different question. 
you actually get very hurt by negative comments and someone else said you are very sensitive in a good way though yeah i do actually get quite hurt by negative comments generally but actually i don't know i think it's like 50 50 sometimes they really get to me and they really really bother me and like i talk about them a lot to like my sister and like she makes me feel better about them but otherwise i just block and delete and then they're out of sight out of mind which is the best way to deal with these issues uh, in terms of being sensitive I think I am quite sensitive to other people like I think I'm generally I like to think I am like I hope I am um, quite considerate about other people's feelings I hope those around me think I'm a nice person this would have been better if I remembered before mascara okay that's the eyeliner kind of thing done these are new lashes from unicorn lashes in flamite Flam flamite i don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced so i'm thinking about wearing these because they look really really nice and fluttery oh i love these oh my god i think these are going to be my new favorite lashes they're very long though so let me just trim them there are so many nice ones as well thank you so much for all the nice things you guys are saying very kind okay someone said you're an introvert i think that's definitely true i think people think i'm a bit more serious especially especially in pakistan like it's just because i talk less i think that people think i'm more serious but i'm not i'm not really i've been loving this i mentioned this in my pakistan vlog as well cover fx g deep 2 it's a concealer from cover fx and it's the power play concealer i just use a, like a little bit on my cheekbones and then on my forehead and a little bit on my jawline and it's such a good contour color for my skin tone and it looks really natural in pictures i think using a concealer color that's actually a skin tone just works really well because it looks more natural and it blends in so seamlessly and it photographs beautifully like i've never had a contour look this good in pictures so if you're looking for a new cream contour i'd highly 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 recommend this Okay, someone said you took your hijab off because you wanted bigger opportunities in the blogging world that is definitely not true it doesn't matter whether you wear a scarf or not if you're a brown girl you're just gonna get less blogging opportunities unfortunately compared to our caucasian equals i'm not that shallow i would not take my scarf off for blogging opportunities this is a coca cabana rodeo blusher this is one of my most favorite blushes it's so amazingly pigmented and it's such a nice coral blush for my skin tones so i absolutely love this color i wouldn't have taken my scarf off for something as little as blogging little as in like yeah it's my career but it's not i wouldn't make such a personal decision based on my career someone assumed you don't shop in primark i don't actually think i do i'm trying to think of the last time i shopped in primark i don't think i do but if i needed to i think i still would but actually i was thinking recently that i shouldn't because it's contributing to like this fast fashion type of industry which i don't really want to be a part of as much as i have been in the past also like all the stuff associated with primark like the poor working conditions etc etc things like pajamas i think primark is so good but i don't think i will be shopping in primark because the quality is just not that great so i'd rather just spend a bit more and get good quality things i can't remember the last time i shopped in primark if i'm honest but i don't think that's entirely a bad thing this is mary luminizer on a morphe m510 brush a lot of getting married very soon i'm, I'm, I'm really not you guys think i'm hiding something i'm not someone said i'm arrogant that's rude i'm not arrogant I don't even think I come across as arrogant. I mean, like, considering where my family have come from, like, quite humble beginnings, I don't even think I have a reason to be arrogant. Like, what am I supposed to be arrogant about? Okay, for my lipstick, I, um, lip gloss, sorry, I used Fenty, but then I kept switching between Fenty and Ibiza Nights because they were both in my bag, so I don't really know what one I was wearing in the picture that you guys saw. I think it was Fenty, actually. love this lip gloss 
Every time I put it on, I forget how much I love it. If you don't have this lip gloss, what are you doing? Like, please, please buy it. It's amazing. So that is the finished look. I'm just going to spritz my face with the Elemis Tea Mist. I'd usually use the Urban Decay All Nighter, but I don't have it on hand. So I'm just going to use this. So that is the completed look. Hope you guys like how it looks. I think I'm just gonna answer a few more questions. That you get a lot of hate, but really you're just doing you. In the summer, I got so much hate because of my scarf choices. Um, I am just doing me. I don't know why people like to hate so much, but half the time I take it on the chin, half the time it does affect me, so yeah. But it doesn't stop me from just doing what i want really that you only shop luxury and live a very lavish life your parents just fill your account absolutely not true my parents don't fill up my account in fact i often pay for the groceries as well i don't always shop luxury either i shop luxury very very little i splurge on a bag like once a year and maybe like a pair of shoes or two a year everything else is from like ASOS, Topshop, H&M, Zara, Mango, like I don't, I don't only shop luxury at all. You're probably quite new to my channel if you think that. You don't want to get married. Do I want to get married? The thing is, I'm not opposed to the idea because a few months ago, I really didn't want to get married. I was like, I want to stay at home. I don't want my life to change. I don't want responsibilities. But now my sister's married and I just feel like she's flown away from the nest and my time is coming <laughs> so it's a bit daunting but I feel like I can now and I don't feel like it would be too much I feel like I'd be comfortable being married now but before I don't think I would be I think I was too young like around a year ago but now I feel like I'm not okay that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i found it very interesting to know what you guys assume about me and i hope you guys like this makeup look make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next one bye